Hey guys, um, I was planning on going live and it didn't work out that way. Our internet is down uh, for some, whatever reason. I mean, we got like two foot of snow last week, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it or not. So I just decided to record this because I got to get it done. So um, I am, what I'm going to do with this, this is that chicken buffet. If you saw the before picture, uh, it's kind it's kind of dated. <laughs> Um, so it's it's primed now and it's ready ready to, to get some paint on there <clears throat> but we want I don't know if you can see it but it's already got kind of a texture to it it was a crackle finish and we wanted to keep that because we want to do a super textured piece um, anyway so I just primed over the uh, crackle and it's got some crack it's got some texture already but we're gonna add some more texture with some salt wash. And I don't know if you've ever worked with salt wash before, but I love it. And I don't use it enough. I need to get, I need to use it more. Cause uh, it, it's not, I mean, a lot of people think it's only for a coastal look and that's not true. You can definitely do um, like a primitive look, a, an old world look. Um, it's just, it's just a fun uh, texturing powder um, to just play with. So that's what we're doing today. The first coat, the first, what we're the first color that we're using is um, Wise Owl, and it's chocolate. If you can see it, um, so we're gonna I'm gonna pour a little bit in here. I don't want to use all of it. I don't want to mix all of it. And yes, that's a butter knife. It's an old butter knife that I use uh, <laughs> because I run out of stir sticks all the time. So, um, get this off the edge. You always want to get your paint out of the little crevices in there. You won't be able to shut the lid back. And then you've got a mess. And you'll probably end up ruining paint. So, that's the color that we're going to. The salt wash will not change the color at all. It just changes the uh, texture of it. <clears throat> There's probably a measuring that you're supposed to follow with this. I cannot say that I do. I'm not very good at following directions. Um, I, just, I just put some in there until it gets to how I want it. It's usually like a, you want it to get like a, a, cake, a cake batter mix. And it's, can you see it going everywhere? It's a powder, so it does make a mess. But you do have to, you do have to mix it in. And yes, that's an old fork. <laughs> I have heard that uh, whisk works really well for this. thought to pick up a whisk at like an old thrift store while I'm there. Need to put that on the list. This looks like brownie mix. I mean who doesn't love brownies? Salt wash is super easy to use to a really cool textured look. So, can you see? It's just kind of like cake batter. And it's probably, it's gonna have some clumps in it, but that's okay, because we're going for textured, so clumps are okay. <clears throat> it's really hard for your internet to be down when your kids at home doing virtual school. Okay, so I'm just gonna dip a little bit and all we're gonna do is we're gonna stipple. You don't wanna go, you don't wanna go like this, you wanna go straight on. And, and when you, <clears throat> when you pull up, you wanna make sure you pull all the way up So that you can have those uh, kind of mountainy looks. <laughs> I 
I don't know, you can't see it, I'm sure. But it gives it a really nice textured look. It does take a little bit to dry, but that's okay. I don't think that I'll have to go over this with another coat of this chocolate because actually this chocolate is just the base coat. Um, we're going to go over with a cream color and distress back to show the chocolate. we live with our internet and cell phones and uh, I don't I don't know I mean I grew up in a time where there was no internet and cell phones and I also remember the dial-up internet we are as full as full of generation but hey I'm not complaining because I really like it I really like the internet it's very helpful sometimes I use a natural bristle brush when I do this because it just seems to work better than I you want something that's going to give. Uh, this is also an old brush, so my feelings aren't going to get hurt if I end up messing it up. You don't want to use your favorite brush. Down a little if you want, but 
you don't have to. Just depends on the level. <clears throat> and mix in the salt wash as well. It depends on the level of texture that you're wanting. you'll do once this is dry you'll paint over with your top coat and um, which in this case will be a cream color and then you'll sand that that top coat back and where those mounds are where those clumps are it'll it'll come through and it'll show so like in my case, around the details and stuff, that's where I want to sand back. Uh, I'm gonna have bigger, bigger uh, clumps there too, so that they'll, they'll show through. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this buffet. I don't wanna show you closer so you can see. Can you see the texture in there? And that's what you're getting. Salt wash is super easy, easy. Give it a try.